Well, thank you very much. And I want to say uh, certainly good evening to Justice Diner, Council Generals that have joined us here this evening. Father Marcos, thank you for that beautiful prayer. Members of Council, the former members of Council, special guests, friends, and family. And when I speak of family, I want to introduce those who have both supported me and inspired me. And first and foremost, I'd like to introduce my wife, Nancy. And my three children, Alessandra, Michael, and Daniel. Can you tell they're shy? No, I just... But thank you, and I also want to give a, a shout out to Daniel, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight because he's studying at university. And I also want to introduce my brother, Paul. Tonight, we celebrate the 220th anniversary of the founding of Markham. This is a celebration of our rich past, our vibrant present and our dynamic future. I believe, and I've always believed, that the support of the people is the foundation of public service. And I stand here before you tonight, honored and humbled by your overwhelmingly support of my leadership. You have given your help, you have given your hearts and I thank you for both. In political life, one has opponents, one has detractors, and one has non-believers, not to mention the whims of the media. And some of them would have you believe that the odds are against you. However, they really don't know Markham. They really don't know you. They don't know us, and most certainly, they don't know me. Together, <laughs> together, we stayed positive. We remained strong. We kept the faith. We won the day. My inspiration to stay the course and keep the faith came from my parents Antonio and Lucia. That's me on the left. <laughs> I thank them for the strong foundation that they provided for me and my brother Paul. Earlier this year, we lost our mother Lucia, and I want to personally dedicate this victory to her. She was and remains an inspiration to all of us. She is a shining example. Never give up. See things through with determination, courage, and positive attitude. My other source of inspiration is actually William Bursey and his group of settlers. They embarked on a journey to make a new home in a place called Markham with voices telling them to turn back, to give in, to give up. They persevered. Bursey never gave in, never gave up. They faced adversity, they faced hardship, they faced disappointment. They saw many dark nights before they saw a bright day. They didn't give up. They tried hard, they did their best, and eventually they succeeded. The positive attitude sets the foundation for Markham today. That's the Markham spirit, that's the Markham way. Tonight, I'm very pleased to announce that I've secured a generous donation for a bronze statue of William Bursey in our community. It will be a monument to Markham's living history. It will commemorate 
Markham's 220th anniversary and the 270th anniversary of William Bursey's birth. Located at the northeast corner of Kennedy Road and 16th Avenue, the area will be named Bursey Square. As the sculptor Marlene Hilton Moore notes, Bursey was a protector and mentor to his pioneers. He, also recognized, he was also recognized in his own time as one of Canada's finest painters. The bronze of William Bursey stands with authority on a seven foot high cantilevered bronze base overlooking the very place that he founded. The bronze base and two separate bronze columns will feature etched replicas of Bursey's most famous paintings. In Bursey Square, Markham history comes alive. In Bursey Square, people will walk with the man who started it all right here in Markham. Just as William Bursey came to Markham to realize the dream of a better life, together we will continue to unleash the extraordinary potential of Markham. I'll ask the new council to update our strategic plan, building Markham's future together. I want Markham Council to build on our strong foundations. Together, we will continue to strengthen fiscal stewardship. We'll maintain a competitive tax rate, continue to run an effective and efficient administration, continue to make sure you get value from your tax dollars. Together, we will champion environmental sustainability. Climate change is a reality, and we must face it. We'll continue to be leaders in energy and water conservation. We'll protect our heritage, wetlands, and urban forests. We will help make the Rouge National Park a reality in our community.